Turkey's prime minister says he sent evidence to the United States to support an extradition request for the exiled cleric Ankara says was behind Friday's failed coup. Binali Yildirim spoke to the ruling AK party as a deep purge of the army, police and judiciary was extended to the education sector in what critics see as a power grab by President Erdogan. Vowing to root out supporters of cleric Fethullah Gulen, the Premier said he and the President had personally made an appeal to the United States for the return of the chief terrorist. We sent our files, the Justice Minister sent our file. But the man in question continues to deny any involvement in the uprising. Speaking from his home in Pennsylvania, the Islamic preacher and one-time ally of Recep Tayyip Erdogan said he'd been against military coups his whole life and has suffered most from those Turkey had experienced in the past. What's more, he said, I don't know those people who led the coup. Gulen has suggested Erdogan staged the coup as an excuse for a crackdown. Dramatic footage continues to emerge from Friday like these explosions outside the presidential palace. Up to 300 people were killed in the coup attempt. Amid the roundup of alleged coup plotters, the shadow of the death penalty hovers, with President Erdogan refusing to rule out the return of capital punishment, despite warnings that that would end Turkey's EU ambitions.